Statistics shows that nearly 3 out of 10 women have experienced some form of violence before the age of 15. One out of every three women around the world has been beaten, coerced into sex or abused in her lifetime with the abuser usually known to her. This Abuja meeting hopes to create the necessary awareness to help victims of abuse to speak up. Report the cases. I think many cases go unreported uh, because of cultural issues. And but I think you know, the, the, facing the reality of, and reporting it, and also increasing the the legal as, uh, sort of prosecution, uh, I think is very important as well. I think when crimes go unpunished, you know, it really doesn't get resolved. Discuss on how we can forge ahead in prevention, in awareness, and also providing psychosocial support for those who are involved. Participants at the meeting want government at all levels to create an efficient platform that will protect victims after speaking up. An experience for men to see what it's like to, live, to walk a mile, to live a day in women's shoes. And so in honor of that, I brought my young friend here with me today uh, just to show that uh, a small token of respect for the millions of African women toiling in the fields, tending to the fields, uh, with baby on back as they work to, uh, to make a living, to sustain themselves and their families. And I think the same thing here, this notion of starting 16 days of activism against gender-based violence is an incredible opportunity for all men in Nigeria and all boys to sit up, speak up, make, be, be more aware, take notice and, uh, and to fight for those rights for women and girls um, against gender-based violence. They should speak up. That's the reason for this kind of awareness. We want everybody to be comfortable enough to want to speak up. To know that when you speak up, it, it's not something that would derogate you. Eunice Adimora is a survivor of an abused marriage she said the society prevented her from speaking up early. I had an experience of a woman, an elderly woman, whom when she heard about the thing I was experiencing, I said, eh, he's your husband, that's what he's expected. He's supposed to beat you. If he beats you with one hand, he use the other hand and bring you back. Unfortunately, that is the mindset of an older woman, an older generation. But do we allow this in this generation? Would you want your own child to experience such? Let us not carry this on from generation to generation. Please let us speak out. At the end, it is agreed that people must remember that if they see it, they must report it. Walk a mile in her shoes is put together by the media campaign against human trafficking in collaboration with the United States Embassy in Abuja. Sadiat Dusumu. AIT News, Abuja.